Part 6 The Finance and Risk Pages In the previous parts of this video, I've prepared a quick pre feasibility study of a 10 megawatt photovoltaic project in Germany. Now I will look at Ratscreen's finance and risk pages. This video will not try to teach financial analysis techniques, rather, it will introduce the main elements of these pages and point out aspects of particular interest for power projects. There are two levels of analysis possible in the finance page. The level is selected at the left of the menu bar. The parameters entered in a level 1 analysis have no impact on the level 2 analysis and vice versa. Since a level 1 analysis is a simplified version of a level 2 analysis, I will look at the level 2 analysis to cover all the features available and point out significant differences from level 1, particularly those relevant to power projects. The left hand part of the page contains two panes, financial parameters and annual revenue, which primarily serve to permit the analyst to provide finance related inputs. The center of the page contains two panes. Cost, savings, revenues provides a summary of the cost page, any electricity export revenues from the energy page, and emissions reductions revenues from the emission page. The financial viability pane displays the key metrics of financial viability, such as those related to profitability and quickness of return. At the far right are the numerical values for yearly cash flows. These are shown graphically at the bottom of the page. One difference between a level 1 analysis and a level 2 analysis relates to inflation. In level 1, a single inflation rate is applied to all future costs and revenues with the exception of the GHG emissions reduction revenues. In contrast, in level 2, the inflation parameter is not applied to the electricity export revenues. These are inflated at a separate electricity export escalation rate, allowing electricity prices to change at a different pace from other prices. I'll leave the inflation rate at 2%, but change the electricity export escalation rate to 2.5%. A second difference between the two analysis levels is the calculation of a more complete set of financial parameters. This requires some additional inputs. To calculate the net present value, which is absent from level 1, the discount rate must be specified. To calculate the modified internal rate of return, also absent from level 1, the rate at which project revenues can be reinvested needs to be entered. I'll leave these two values at 9%. I'll change the project life to 30 years to reflect the long life expectancy of a PV system installed in Germany. I'll also change the debt interest rate to 5.5%. Corporate taxes and various fiscal incentives related to how losses are treated can greatly affect the profitability of a power project. In a level 2 analysis, clicking Income Tax Analysis opens a number of cells that allow a basic determination of the impact of taxation. These are reflected in the after-tax internal rate of return and the net present value. I won't do a tax analysis for this project. In the annual revenue pane, two sections not present in a level 1 analysis allow for the inclusion of revenue related to electricity production. The first of these, other revenue or cost, permits the analyst to include the annual revenue or costs that are proportional to energy or power. The analyst can enter a duration and an escalation rate that is applied to this cash stream. Clean energy production revenue is useful for including a utility or government incentive related to clean energy production. The analyst specifies the annual value of the credit per unit of electrical energy generated, the duration of the credit, and an escalation rate, and then, for each fuel type, whether the production from that fuel benefits from this credit. In Level 2, Redscreen calculates the energy production cost. This is the levelized, or average, cost of producing a unit of electricity with the project, considering all the costs over the project lifetime. The present value of the costs is divided by the present value of the total production. That is, the discount rate is applied to both costs and generation. Since this is a cost for generation, it is not affected by the amount paid for electricity exports. The benchmark on the facility page can be set equal to the energy production cost by clicking the Update Benchmark button. In this analysis, the energy production cost is around 7 euro cents per kilowatt hour. When I click the Update Benchmark button and then return to the facility page, 
I see that the position of the vertical green dashed line has been adjusted to this value. In any analysis, there will be a level of uncertainty associated with many inputs. This translates into uncertainty about the calculated indicators of financial viability, like the internal rate of return or the equity payback period. We can get a better feeling for this through the risk page. The top section of the risk page is for sensitivity analysis. Two main parameters are chosen. Then RetScreen generates a table showing how simultaneous variation in these two parameters affects an indicator of financial viability. Let's say I wanted to see how the net present value of the project would change if the initial costs and the debt interest rate moved up or down from their currently calculated levels by plus or minus 30%. The initial costs are 7.5 million euros. If they were 30% higher, they would be 9.75 million euros. If they were 30% lower, they would be 5.25 million euros. The value of the initial costs, plus or minus 15%, is also shown along the horizontal axis of the table. Similarly, the current debt interest rate of 5.5%, plus or minus 15 and 30%, is shown on the vertical axis of the table. Then RetScreen recalculates the net present value for these combinations of initial costs and debt interest rate, holding all other parameters fixed, and populates the table with these. Values of the net present value below my threshold of zero are indicated in red. Looking at this table, I can quickly conclude that the net present value is far more sensitive to the initial costs than the debt interest rate. If my initial costs go up by just 15%, then even a 30% decrease in the debt interest rate cannot make the project profitable. I can do this for as many combinations of two variables as I want. Another interesting combination might be the initial costs and the electricity exported to the grid. I'll look at changes of plus or minus 10, 20, and 30% in these parameters by adding rows and columns to the table with the plus icon. The net present value shows roughly the same level of sensitivity to these two variables in this project. For instance, an increase of 20% in the initial costs or a decrease in my electricity exports of 20% results in essentially the same net present value of negative 1.2 million euros, all other things being the same. This suggests that for this project, errors in estimating the capacity factor are as serious as errors in estimating the initial costs. Below the sensitivity is a risk analysis. It is similar, except that rather than looking at simultaneous variation in just two parameters, all the parameters in the list are allowed to vary within a specified range. For example, Let's say I was interested in the range of values for energy production costs that I might find for this photovoltaic project if I built it and not everything worked out exactly as I've estimated in this red screen analysis. I'd select the energy production cost as my financial indicator. Then I'd specify what range of values each parameter would likely fit within were I to build the project. For example, if I thought that the annual operating and maintenance costs might be anywhere from 30% higher to 30% lower than the 8 euros per kilowatt per year value that I entered on the energy page, I'd put in 30% for this parameter. I'll leave all the other parameters at 25% for this video. Now I tell RetScreen to do a Monte Carlo simulation. That is, I get it to recalculate the energy production cost a large number of times each time choosing random values within the specified ranges for each of the parameters. By a large number of times, I mean 500 to 5,000 separate calculations of the energy production cost. When RetScreen has completed these 5,000 calculations, it displays the results in two different graphs. The impact graph shows how much variation in the energy production cost is caused by variation in each parameter. As suggested in the sensitivity analysis, the electricity exported to the grid and the initial costs strongly influence the project outcomes. Indeed, they have the biggest impacts of all these variables. Their impacts are opposite in sign, however. An increase in the initial costs increases the energy production costs, whereas an increase in the electricity exported to the grid decreases the energy production cost. Below this impact graph, there is a histogram of the 5,000 calculations of the energy production cost. 
To see the full distribution, I set the level of risk to 0%. That is, I want there to be zero risk that the energy production cost falls outside the range it is showing me. It indicates that the range is 4.9 euro cents per kilowatt hour to 11 euro cents per kilowatt hour. The distribution of outcomes within this range is shown in the histogram. Let's say I wanted to know the so-called P90 value for the energy production cost. That is, I wanted to know what value I can expect the energy production cost to exceed with a 90% confidence level. I'd set the level of risk to 20%, since this will exclude the lowest 10% and the highest 10% of the outcomes. According to this calculation, the P90 energy production cost is 8.4 euro cents per kilowatt hour, not too much higher than the median value of 7.3 euro cents per kilowatt hour. A careful risk analysis should be conducted prior to embarking on any major power project. RETScreen can rapidly provide elements of this analysis. As an analyst, be aware of sources of variation not included within RETScreen's list of parameters and correlations between parameters that do not permit them to be treated as independent random variables. You will likely want to communicate the findings from the financial and risk analysis to various colleagues and partners. In the next and final part of this video, I will show you how to prepare and export a report in RATScreen.